What do you feel as the uh, one of the former PKR uh, leaders who uh, fought for you know a clean politics, a new politics, and to come back to this as it was in 1998? I mean, I'm tot I'm totally disappointed that this is emerged within our own party. You know, we emerged in 1998 after what happened to Anwar Ibrahim, after he you know he was uh, the way he was humiliated, the way. Uh, dirty politics was used to humiliate him with false accusations, so we fought that. Uh, on the platform of reformacy, we fought that for 20 years. We brought together different parties together on a common on that common platform, and we brought ultimately we managed to change Malaysia in last year in 2018. And today to see that in our own party is is very sad. But we are not going to give up. For for me, this resembles another fight which we have to take on, another struggle. And uh, we will have to debate this within our party and make sure this is, I mean, this, this mustn't happen again. And um, not just within our party, we must make sure that Pakatan Harapan as a whole will reject this sort of dirty politics. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, the, 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 what has happened now, what is happening to Azmin as our Deputy President is no different from what happened to Anwar Ibrahim. You know, what was done to Anwar Ibrahim. Okay, except Anwar Ibrahim had to suffer more oppressive action. He was jailed, he was beaten up and so on. But what is happening now to Azmin is, is the, the, the core part is the same. And this is the dirty politics we have to reject. Uh, Tun has, uh, what do you call it, in 1998, Tun sacked uh, Anwar Ibrahim uh, on the, what do you call, uh, basis of just allegations of uh, such a scandal. Uh, but this time he stood by uh, Azmin and said innocent until proven guilty. Yeah. So does this mean Tun has changed for the better or has... Uh, I, mean, I, I, I mean, in 1998, I stood with many others to oppose Tun Dr. Mahathir's position on this and my position has not changed. Uh, he never he never showed us the, the actual evidence for which he, he sacked Anwar and we will stand by opposition, that is unchanged that Anwar sacking, jailing, everything was was wrong was uh, and unjustified. And, uh, but what, what I'm really disappointed and concerned about now is how within our own party uh, we are stooping to such low-level gutter politics, you know? real low-level gutter politics to do political assassination. And uh, so no doubt there are, in politics there's always competition uh, for particular posts, especially high posts. But the competition for such posts must not descend to such low levels as what is happening today. Uh, did Hazik reply to the Bureau of Politics update despite giving the 14 day deadline? Did he reply? Uh, I don't know because uh, the notice was just issued. So we are still within the deadline of 14 days. So is he unable to be contacted by PKR? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, uh, the show cause letter will be delivered to his last known address in the normal way. We have uh, phone numbers, we can send by WhatsApp, we can send it by mail and so on. So I don't think that's an issue. And uh, what is the, the process for him is the same we have done with other members who are about to be subjected to disciplinary action. We give them the same chance to reply, after which we will decide what level of disciplinary action to take, whether he'll be suspended or sacked or whatever. So, what do you think the uh, KKR leader has different opinions on how to deal with Hazik? Some say he must give him a chance to explain, some say he must be sacked immediately. Why is that? When Hazik went public, he made himself an active part of the gutter politics that we are talking about. Why do I say that? Because not only, okay, for example, he could have, assuming, again assuming, assuming somebody was trying to victimize him as he now claims, he could have seen the party leaders and said, this is my problem. He could have done it privately. He didn't. He chose to go public. He put himself in the video, identified himself with the situation, and then goes on to accuse the deputy president, Azmin, of corruption and say he's an unfit leader. So this is where you can see that the motives are different. The motives are malicious. And so this for me totally uh, contradicts what he so-called claimed to be a victim. And so this is why... You know, this is why we said, and I think quite rightly, uh, Deputy Minister Samsul Iskandar has sacked him because he is unfit to be a civil servant. He is unfit to be a government officer with that kind of behaviour. And the same, same process, the same deliberation will take place in terms of his party membership.